Hi, we're here with the um, with the senior flyer. Uh, I've done a little bit of trimming since the last video, so you can see right here I have moved the uh, stab tube up on the trailing edge. So what that does is that gives us up elevator, um, and the airplane is flying fairly flat uh, like that. So what you want to do is trim the airplane so that it flies with the motor stick level uh, or, or slightly nose high. Um, and that's the only change I've made. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, lubricate this rotor motor with our Dow Corning 33. Uh, this is the same rubber motor as before. And we're going to crank this up. This motor will take about 1,300 turns at full power, um, which is probably not the complete optimum. And it's, it's dead sticking in here, so it's, it really it's too short. And we'll show that in a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm stretching this motor out. I have a torque meter um, on there. I am, um, so I've got 500 turns in. Um, breaking torque for this motor is up here around uh, 0.9 inch ounces. I'm at 0.4. So I'm going to go up to um, 0.5. And now I'm going to start working my way in. So I'm passing 1,000 turns now. I hope you want to focus on the uh, on this part. So I've passed 1,050, 60 turns here. And I'm continuing on in. And so you're, you, you need to do a lot of testing to know what torque will get you to the ceiling and nothing more. Um, I'm trying to relax this rubber motor a little bit. So I've got 1,250 turns here. We're at 0.8 inch ounces. I'm going fairly conservatively. And I'm going to back off to below 0.5. Because anything more than that is just going to pound this airplane up into the ceiling. So that's 0.45 right there. And that still leaves me with uh, 1,110 turns. And now as I've wound this off the airplane, you never want to wind your rubber motor on the airplane. And what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the propeller, like so. Um, so I've got it by the, the nose bearing and the shaft. And so I'm going to take this O-ring and I'm just going to slip it on. And I start at the winder at the front here. And then I go back to my uh, rear O-ring. And I'm going to slip that on the rear hook. So we're all good there. And now we're just going to come out here and we're going to launch this. And since we want to stay out of the ceiling, down as low as you can. And try not to do that because you'll get disqualified. <laughs> and that is going to hit the ceiling. Um, it'll bump it lightly. It's climbing very slowly, so you'll get just a gentle pattern here. Thank you, sir. So we have a hit. Nice bounce, sluggish recovery. But it'll climb, it has enough power, it'll climb back up there again. So if you got a, this is a fairly snag free ceiling, so I can afford to bang the ceiling uh, quite a bit. So you have to judge your, your flying site based on that. You need to keep detailed records. This is a 22 foot 8 ceiling to the outer side here. And we're out of climb power, so we're coming down. This is uh, minute 22 here. So we'll do close to two minutes on this flight. May do two minutes. We can see we're down to less than a single row of knots on the rubber motor, so it's almost completely unwound. And so we're practically gliding at this point. All right, so that's a minute 58 right there. 
minus my ticking on the floor. We'll put up another flight here in a minute and um, see if we can get a little bit longer. Okay, so this is the uh, rubber motor we were using, and I have switched over to this one. Same thickness, about um, it's about five, four inches, four and a half inches longer. Um, I believe this was a 14 inch loop, so that makes this a 19 and a half inch loop. And it is, uh, hold on one second. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here, we're gonna wind it up. We're just gonna do the same thing we did before. Um, we're going to try to keep it out of the ceiling. This, this model does not have the production prop bearing, so ceiling bits are kind of hurting it now. Alright, so there's 500. One thousand. Fifteen hundred. Fifty. And now we're going to back it off. So that gives us about 0.48 inch ounces. So in theory, this should stay out of the ceiling because it's um, a heavier piece of rubber on here. So it takes more power to initiate a climb. We'll see how that works out. Climbing a little bit too fast, so it's going to hit the ceiling, I think. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to steer it away from the wall. So we're coming up on a minute and a half and just barely starting to descend here. So this is a good flight. You can hear the uh, propeller shaft vibrating in there against the um, now bent nose bearing because of that ceiling hit. Um, so we're losing a lot of energy here. Uh, and it's still, uh, that's two minutes right there. All right, so that was uh, 218. So let's uh, take a look here. So a couple things to look at um, is uh, we've got a full row of knots here. So this is probably suboptimal. This this rubber motor is actually uh, too long for the ceiling height. Also, if you look here, the knot has bunched up against the motor stick here. So there's a whole bunch of turns that were unable to be used. Uh, so cut your knots nice and short. Um, other than that, let's see here. Isn't that 
that back. Yeah, some of the clicking is still there. But anyway, that should give you an idea. So I think the optimum motor length for this is probably about 18 and a half inches uh, for this particular model. Um, and it should be able to do, uh, with that you'll probably be seeing two and a half to 245 with this airplane, which is very good. So, uh, questions, comments, put them in the comment section below, and we'll see you later. Bye.